Maailman paras kesä on ollut turmi, jonka tilanne isku apa on nyt kaupoissa. Jos ei ole, niin sanoo, että soittaa iso kalampani mulle. Hey, this is Janet Gardner and Cher Ross from and Vixen, Vixen. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Chaos, Chaos TV. TV. Hey, so what's up everyone? <coughs> Chaos TV is today here at Rainy Nummi Rock Festival in, in Nummijärvi and we have here Janet and Cher from the band Vixen as guests. So first of hello and welcome to Finland once again and welcome to Chaos TV as well. Thank you. We're glad to be back. It's been a long time since we were in Finland and it's great to be here. Thanks for having us. So actually it was like 91 or something that you were here last time with Deep Purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. So do you actually happen to have any memories from those days <laughs> and that specific show? Actually, we do, because I think it was our last night, right, of mm -hmm. the tour. Mm -hmm. And so there was a lot of celebrating going on afterwards and some some craziness at the hotel with the Deep Purple guys. We had a good time. It was a very <laughs> memorable, actually. So yeah, good stuff. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun that night in Finland. So now during the summer you have been playing in tons of different European festivals. So how has the summer generally been for you guys? It's going great. We're so happy to be back in Europe again. And my God, the audiences are just fantastic. It's phenomenal. Yeah, I was actually thinking that there is sort of like a hype around all these like classic rock bands like you as well so do you actually feel that people appreciate more like all these old bands nowadays than when you were playing in the 90s well i mean there was a definitely a time where you sort of i think all bands have ups and downs in their career yeah, yeah, yeah. and there was definitely a time when we were sort of out of fashion um, which yeah, wasn't fun. Gen genres <laughs> kind of like come and go. Exactly. Yes. And now it's, you know, it seems sort of that, you know, people at festivals like this um, like to hear all different, you know, types of rock from different eras, more classic bands, newer bands. So, yeah, it's great. So, in general, what has been like your personal favorite festivals from the summer so far? The one we're playing today. Always. Okay. The one we're playing today. That's what you are looking the most. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah, but we're you, really for, but you for example, played at Sweden Rock Fest, which is like a huge rock festival in Scandinavia. So how was that? It was fantastic. And it wasn't raining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it is today, unfortunately. <laughs> so uh, in the beginning of 2018, you had that blood clot. So how are you? doing at the moment great i feel great i got a you know discharged from the doctor yeah he told me i'm 100 percent back to normal and good to go okay so yeah i feel very lucky to be here and um yeah i feel good that's really good to hear so what about share what were like your first thoughts when you heard that something as bad as that I'm has so happened. happy that she's back. She's my rock and roll sister. <laughs> yeah, no, it was terrifying, you know, of course. It was, you know, you just have all these crazy thoughts like, you know, you have your information wrong. This is not happening. You have the wrong Janet Gardner. And now just, oh, so grateful that she's here standing next to me giving me shit. <laughs> so <laughs> did, did, it, did it actually made you, like, think about the life in general more? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it hasn't really changed anything, but I guess there is a little bit of that sort of, you know, enjoy every day to the fullest because yeah, you yeah. never know what's going to happen. I so. guess that's something that happens always if something like bad happens. Right. To you a know, person. you appreciate every day and every show and yeah. you know. You take life sometimes too granted that you never know if something like that happens. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cuz it was totally unexpected out of the blue, so yeah, it's, so it's good. You also have a live CD coming up in July. So why a live CD now? I think it's your first one ever, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's the first one with with this lineup. Yeah. Um, 
And you know, we we were we've been talking about it for years, actually. Yeah. Of like, why haven't we ever done that? And we, you know, we had some old live recordings from back in the day, but we we didn't have the rights to a lot of it, and so we thought, well, let's just let's just record a show. We're out playing a lot. We're tight. We're good. We're ready to go. And um, so we did it, and then had Michael Wagner mix it. And he did did a great job, and we have a couple of little bonus tracks on there, a new studio track and an acoustic version of Edge of, Bro- Edge of a Broken Heart. So it is a live thing, but it's got a little extra in it. So how important it actually has been you as a band that you sound like live as close to the original albums that you release? Well, things always evolve. Yeah, yeah. You can't help it, yeah, you know. Yeah. So all of a sudden, stuff's getting a little faster, or yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, a little different here, a little different there, because you you can't do the exact same thing yeah, every yeah. night. It, so they evolve a little bit, but we try to stay true to the songs that, you know, because we know that's how people want to hear them and they want to sing along to the same melody. So we try not to mess with it too much, but it does evolve a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually read some old interview from 2014 where you said that you had at least written some new music as well so what's actually the current state with that well i think you know it's it's gone back and forth and in and out and around a few times because when we initially got together we were getting together and waiting for jan our original guitar player and then she died of cancer yeah. and so um we carried on with gina and so then we started writing with that and then band things change and stuff happens and we decided to wish her the best and now we're moving forward with Brit so rather than waiting to write another album we decided to do the live thing first for right now and now you know we'll start putting ideas around together and you know we had to kind of get used to Brit as well and she's phenomenal and she plays great and everything so now we're going to start putting our heads together and riffs and thoughts and lyrics and Okay, so you actually it. plan on writing the album like again that you won't use those songs that you already had done before? I don't or? know. You never know. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Yeah. You, you know, you never know. But you know, maybe between today, this festival, and tomorrow, the next festival, we'll just knock out the whole album and just get it done. Okay, but you don't have any concrete plans for it yet. No that, concrete that plans. You'll just yet. see how it goes in the yes. end of the day. Yeah, no, I mean, there's nothing like on the schedule or anything like that, but, you know, we are talking about it for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to rush with it. You just prefer doing it 110% and then just put it out. Absolutely. Took the words right out of our mouth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah do it right. Yeah, yeah. And I guess you are in a position that you aren't. Like, you know how the music industry goes nowadays, that you release an album tour two or two years and then you need to put the new album out because that's how the industry goes. But I guess you aren't in that position anymore, that you can basically do whatever yeah. you want and when you want. And I guess that's a good thing that you have sort of like a freedom to think about things before putting them out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, We're not under any, you know, there's no record company or anybody telling us what kind of record to make or when it has to be done or anything we're just gonna take our time and try to make a great record so do you think that music scene is like too rushed nowadays in general be- because of that that people expect to hear new music every second year and basically bands live in those cycles um i don't i don't know i don't know what the music scene is it's so funny because i, I was going to say the same thing i have no I idea have no, yeah i have no idea it seems like people just want downloads Anyway, so I, I don't know. I yeah, think, it's I not. Think, I don't even know if people buy albums anymore. Don't they just buy singles? I, well, don't, and, I don't know. And, how and, do you and actually? You, you, how yeah, do you listen to music? Do you use Spotify or do you buy physical albums or vinyls? I collect vinyls myself. I'm yeah. a vinyl freak, but yeah, yeah, how no, do you I, do? I buy a lot of vinyl, but then in my house, I listen to like um, in America we have Pandora. I don't know yeah, if you guys yeah, have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To Spotify. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's similar to Spotify, but different. So I, I use Pandora, but then I have a turntable as well. So we do a lot of. I spend a lot of vinyl at home. How about you? I download what I like. Okay. Okay. So hey, thank you a lot for taking time to do this interview yeah, with us and all that. the best for the future. Anything you want to say as last words to the Finnish fans watching this afterwards? It's been a long time, so we love you. We've missed you. We're really glad to be here. Thanks for all the support over the years. Rock on.
Yes, and um, just to add that the live album is available not just on CD and download, but also on vinyl and cassette, because that's how we roll. <laughs> I know, you gotta cassette. love that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Gosh.